It's winter in NYC, and the holidays are fast approaching. There's a chill in the air, and it's a great time to cuddle up with someone you love. But that's a different show, because tonight I'm going to share with you some of the most bizarre stories of love and romance and sex that you've ever seen or heard on our special winter edition of Sex Stories in the News. Like Slutty Santas? Okay. Get him over here. Get him all, well, not all, get him over here. Okay. Well, we are going to first, before we get underway, introduce our panel of expert guests. Underway, is that like underwear? Do you wear underwear, Tom? <laughs> not tonight. Not often, okay. Well, <laughs> speaking of which, we have a big film star here. Yay. Fresh off of his appearance yeah. in something, what was it? Junk. Junk. Yes. Tim's junk, well, you don't wear underwear. No. No. Tim's junk was on display recently in a film with uh, two people, I think. Yes. It's Were you at least junk. the, did you get second bill? At no, least? I got top billing. Top billing. Top billing. This is the first time you were ever a top, isn't it? Yes, Tim? right. Good. Very good, but good. I'm Very fun. nice. Okay. And uh, was there any on-screen romance, an off-screen romance? No. How did that all there go? There was a little kiss here or there, but, and a hug, okay. but that was about it. All right, I wanted like that. hardcore action, but no, none of yeah. that. I got to make some calls and see if I know anyone in the business. Okay, Mr. Tim Moss. Tim Hi. Moss. To my immediate right, we have a gal who. Uh, That's a very nice way to put it. <laughs> A human of the female persuasion who does a lot of strange stuff. And that's saying something after introducing Tim. We have Lola Bastinato. Yay! Now, recently, I was at her uh, Halloween party and she was at mine, so yes. it was like role reversal. Yes. I was well. in charge and she was in charge. <laughs> it was very exciting for everyone, I'm sure. So, uh, and you have a birthday coming up, is this yes. correct? I do, December 20th. Yes. And a party, Happy birthday. in case yes. by some chance this airs in time. You can all converge on Lola and do unspeakable things to her, and we'll speak of them the next time she's on. No, not really, but you can come to my birthday party on December 20th. Okay. <laughs> for that. <laughs> and not to be forgotten, Yay. at the far end, closest to the Christmas tree, so pretty. We have it is re lovely. retired, retired New York City escort, but not out of practice, are you? Oh no, I'm out of practice. Too. She still knows what to. <laughs> well, okay, Tara Tiara, ladies. But you know, it's okay. like riding a bicycle. Yeah. <laughs> Did you ever you know, work? The skill just comes flooding back once you get your hands down there. <laughs> Did you ever work a bicycle in in any way? <laughs> so we're all actually so. Are you trying? Yeah, I know, and I'm thinking too. No, I'm trying good. to think if I ever did it like on a motorcycle. Yeah, right. Yeah. I don't think I, I don't have either. I don't think I have. I don't uh -huh. think I have. Okay. Well, we, we found something yeah. that she's still got to look forward to. Yeah. <laughs> okay. So we're going to uh, begin by directing at the first story at uh, Lola, because she is our uh, marriage expert, being the only one of us who's ever been married uh, other than Tim really? for 15 minutes. Yeah. Right. That's another to Britney show. Spears. To Britney Spears. <laughs> <laughs> Which is the longest marriage she ever had, by the way. Uh, okay, so we know you're a pretty wild gal. Has your oh, husband... Oh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I've got pictures. Uh, has your husband ever brought up the idea of bringing a third party into the bedroom? He's a man who has a penis. Of course he has. Okay. You know what I mean? Like, duh. Now, were you, were you open to this concept? I think it depends on the people. Okay. Yeah. I, I don't want to... See, here's the thing. I make my worst mistakes when I say I would never... And then yeah, the right. next thing, I'm like, hey, did you see me with the pictures? Yeah. <laughs> like, that's me, right? Like, oh, did you see my pictures on Facebook? Yeah, so mm -hmm. I don't want to say I would never do something... Because I always do it. Good. How would you feel if it was an inanimate object? Um, a three-way with an inanimate like object? Like with a dildo? A little more sophisticated. Okay. Like a sex doll? Okay. We have now come to the crux of our story. <laughs> he said, come. He <laughs> did. Uh, this fellow in Japan. Japanese. 
We've had a lot of interesting sex stories robot. with those. Yes. Sex robot. Yes. Exactly. Money's on sex robot. I know. Sex this robot. guy wants to bring a sex, it does bring a sex doll into his house to live with him, his wife, and his daughter. Right. She could to live with them. Right. right. Oh, that's well, a real thing. The living doll. in the bed time. with this guy. I think the wife was in the other room at this point. Well, okay. Okay. The daughter at first found it creepy. Okay. But now they ex wear each other's clothes. And that's not creepy. Her and the sex doll. Okay. Well, who goes shopping for So you could double your wardrobe. Yeah. Who goes shopping for I, the clothes? You know, here's the thing. I, I think oftentimes, like, I've, I've watched a documentary on, like, the whole living doll thing. And there's such, like, a psychological link to these people. And because they lack emotion everywhere else. So once they become attached and have an affinity for an inanimate object, they become super attached. Like, uh -huh. they did this documentary on the men who, who do it. And this one guy had to get his doll repaired because, you know, she has to be... He wore her out. Wore her out, right? <laughs> so he had to get the doll repaired. And he's crying as they're putting her... Because they have put her in a crate. And she goes on the UPS truck like this. You know what I mean? And he's crying like, oh, my God, I'm going to miss you. I love you. And They don't have visiting hours? <laughs> But you know, You're not going to like, visit this thing in the hospital? Oh, my God. Well, no, I, no they, they send her back all repaired and zhuzhed up and ready to <laughs> go. So all up. dolled up. Basically. All dolled <laughs> up. Yeah, absolutely. Right. But I think, I think part of it, too, is that, that um, part of the attachment is they can be whatever fantasy oh, they yeah. want them to be. Absolutely. And that's where the attachment, they don't talk back. You don't have to buy them things. You don't have it's to take them out to dinner. It's the perfect mate. Yeah, right. It's the perfect yeah. mate. Yeah, Just set her up over here and do whatever you well, want to with her. Well, this guy said and, she's a good listener. I'm, I'm not I, making I, that I, up. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, but you think about it, oftentimes, like, we live in a digital age, so most of our communication is done via text mm -hmm. or messenger or whatever it is. Like, it's very rare that people actually write anymore or right. actually, like, have conversations. Most of it is very digital now. Mm -hmm. Which is great because they have terrible penmanship. <laughs> yeah, me too. <laughs> Maybe these guys just like the smell of plastic. Instead they have of a human. rubber fetish. Have you, yeah. dealt, have you dealt with any rubber fetish. fetishes? No, not me. No. I don't like the, the, the latex and stuff like that. Like Lola, she, she does you? that. <laughs> oh, I know many of fetishes. <laughs> Do you? Okay. Yes. But I'm you like, like, yeah, you're into, many. into latex. Yeah. Oh, I love latex. Actually, I was going to wear a latex dress tonight. and. Um, Next time, we should to. get to vote on what Lola's going to wear, shouldn't we? <laughs> yeah. Oh, sorry. This is kind of We're going to wear subject. onesies next time, dude. Say what? Onesies, pajamas. We decided we're oh, going to do yeah. like a pajama party the next time you invite yeah. us on the show. And we're all you like how we just invited ourselves yeah. again? <laughs> That's okay as long we're as we're good at that. <laughs> this is kind of along along the line. Did you pajamas know? or are we talking nineties? The one piece jammies, right? I'll wear a nighty. Oh, man, onesies. Sounds... Oh, the only one's going to wear a nighty is ten. <laughs> He's going to wear a nighty. This shape. is a onesie, I guess, just not a jammy. But back back to piece. the back to yeah. the okay. to the. The Back doll, to the, future. the sex doll. I, this is kind of along that line. Was in Saudi Arabia, they actually had a robot, yeah. a female robot that they made a citizen. Yeah, actually made a citizen. Which yeah, is because she, she talks to wear and communicate. And stuff? Uh, no, for, no, oddly enough, because I guess she's a sex doll, so she gets a pass. Yeah. <laughs> that's wow. what she's for. That's pretty that's amazing. Story. Yeah, it's pretty but that's amazing. really creepy. Yeah. When you it's think really about like but those anyway, movies I just with the to AI, oh, fits yeah, in, right? Fits Take nicely over. into the uh, storyline too. Uh -huh. Good contribution. And this guy, <laughs> by the way, puts the doll in a wheelchair and takes her out on dates. Wow. Okay. Yeah. What do the neighbors think? Um, I, it, it smells like a, burning rubber <laughs> next door. <laughs> Smells like burning rubber. That is really so disturbing. <laughs> uh, there's another guy. I found this creepier, I think, than the whole rest of the story. Oh, wow. He said he's cut down on the sex that he's having with the doll because it's more about an emotional connection now. Okay. Well, maybe it's how she like, the thing's looks a toy. into his eyes. <laughs> It, it sounds to me blinking. like it's it's all an emotional thing with his own self. Because if he's imagining her listening to him, he's imagining her staring at him and being concerned. It's an imaginary. So he's friend. yeah, he, yeah, and also imagining her response. Right. Her, so it's all just imaginary, all in yeah, his head. Yeah, this is really different from this. And yeah. <laughs> you know, it's basically the same of just hanging out at home 
Except for you, you know, instead of a pillow being next to you or something, you have this doll and you can pretend that you're with people, but you're still alone. And that's really what you like uh -huh. is being alone because you're not afraid when you're alone because other people could make you afraid. Right. Who thought yeah. Norman Bates would seem normal? <laughs> <laughs> well, I think I'd not rather Mrs. take a Bates. guy that fucks a sex doll than a guy that likes to fuck with a knife. Well, that's a good point. Well, well true. <laughs> We're like, if I had yeah. to choose. <laughs> I'd rather so you would go a with sex the sex doll. doll. What if it was a guy and a female sex doll? Does the female have to be there? <laughs> <laughs> but she would just be like this. <laughs> she would so be, be okay. Like yeah. drop her uh, up in the chair. Aghast at Tim's behavior. <laughs> But I'm still wondering who buys that sex doll clothes because if the teen goes out and He's buys the clothes, an then yeah, she should wear them too. But if the dad is buying the clothes, well, then that's one way of getting dad to buy you clothes. But it's kind of creepy yeah. that you're wearing the same clothes that yeah, your dad is right. putting on your a sex dad's doll. mistress? Unless it's actually not a sex doll. Maybe it's just a companion doll. No, he does He's it with doing her. He does it with her? He's okay. doing her. She Usually, lives in his room and he it's tries to tell her. That this is just about, you know, and I really care consented. about you as a doll. <laughs> and, the se and the sex doll has <laughs> consented. She just sits on my bed after I make it up. <laughs> <laughs> Come on. Like, that's just a little, you know, I don't know. To each his own. I mean, who the hell am I? Exactly. Who the hell am as I? As long as they're not out bothering real women, I don't mind. It's just that we have to come up with some rules and stuff. could be president one day. You never know. You know, what <laughs> is a sex doll? What is a robot? What is a citizen? What is, you know... Yeah. What is an animal? We've had this talk before. How many mm -hmm. parts is human? All right. Before we get too philosophical and too far <laughs> away from sex. I do, Which is the human condition. I do look out for Lola, as you know. Mm -hmm. And this whole doll thing is becoming popular. Yes. So yeah. to try to keep your marriage functioning in this age of very sexy dolls, okay. have you ever considered converting yourself into a living doll? <laughs> <laughs> Oh, First of all, surgery. I don't take doll. orders from anybody, so that's not a good idea. <laughs> Very bad idea. Very bad idea. No, you know what it is? Yeah, look, I, th I think if it gets to the point when you're in a marriage and you want to bring a third person in, like whether it's a doll or a person, those are like things that really have to be discussed. And, and to really mm -hmm. get down to the root of why you want to do it, is it purely Absolutely. just carnal or is it just a curiosity like are you gonna allow your feelings to kind of take over the situation Absolutely. there's so many different variables can so, she do things you like you're blowing my whole next yeah. story out of the water <laughs> oh i'm sorry that's such a good segue going oh okay <laughs> because there was a gal who spent many thousands of dollars converting herself it's into like a, a real doll. live se real live sex doll yeah did you have she a picture of her oh, I, yes, I saw it yes. i didn't bring uh -huh. it but she does yeah. look uh, really? artificial. She probably has to like glass her face. Well, she gets injected into her lips from? all the time. Yeah. I don't know what that really matters. Her face looks like kind a of doll. Plastic. Like yeah. Well, I you have laser a friend, and all I your pores close that up has and stuff. Had many oh, really? many surgeries. Yeah. Do you know her name? Mm, um, my last name is Moore. Hold on a second. No, I do have. Yeah, there's one. several. People Cindy that do Moore. That. Nope, different no. one. But my like like other friend has modeled herself after like tons of surgery. Yeah. To look like Barbie. Yeah, there's several Barbies and a couple of Kens mm -hmm. walking around. Well, the thing I found... You don't see too many G.I. Joes. They don't seem to like that kinky, weird hair that the yeah. original G.I. Joe that had. That piece of plastic on your head. <laughs> no, the original G.I. Joe had like real, like, like a scrub brush kind of thing on their no, head. No, before hmm. that it was plastic, I think. All right, the one that I first remembered ever seeing had the, that weird stuff. The G.I. Joe that you were dating. And, <laughs> right, my Barbies were dating a G.I. Joe and Ken. <laughs> <laughs> she didn't limit herself to one. And I just thought it was always odd because Ken was the plastic head. And G.I. Joe came out with that Brillo on his head. Oh. Hmm. Well, the that. thing that I found interesting is one of the surgeries that she had mm -hmm. was to have her breast augmented from an A to a double F. Ouch. Wow. Now, wow. That would hurt. Now, That's like a process, I don't know what kind right? of doll this girl played with. Okay. Yeah. But I remember Barbie. Yeah, but Barbie's proportions were not it's realistic. Big. Yeah, either. they were really weird. Barbie's proportions, I think if she was like a, a, a regular like human, it would be like like triple D something and really? like a, she like a tiny, she would tiny be like yeah. a spine. Yeah. It would be like like about that big. Yeah, yeah. you have to take out ribs or something like that. I thought of Barbie as being that uh, well endowed, but what do I know? 
Yeah, but she was probably about a what a D. Was a she? D yeah, at least. Yeah. She, yeah. yeah, she was a good firm but not D. Not an F. She was isn't F like out to here? Not really. It depends on the frame. I've yeah. been very surprised. Different women like that I thought were a B cup turned out to be a D cup because really? they were shorter because or something. Of the, or broader yeah. shoulders or something. Yeah, uh-huh. just I don't know if something to do amazing. with your back too. I, well, no, no, not the cup, cup size. Cup. Is, oh, the, yeah. Around cup here, size. yeah, but the cup size. Right. No, and so it. It depends, I guess, because I've, I've known there's different girls. That's why you can never just think that you're going to be a B or a C or a D. Because sometimes, I mean, a lot of times it's more uniform, but a lot of times it just depends on the size of the girl. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Mm. All right. Well, that was informative. Well, so what size mm-hmm. are yours? I'm more than working towards a solid B. <laughs> Mine are hey, mobile. don't compete with me. <laughs> um, okay, well, while we're still on the whole doll topic. Okay. Mm-hmm. We have one more item. Okay. Because there is a word of caution. This whole doll craze. Well, Especially the doll that the Japanese handle. guy had cost about six grand. Yeah, they're expensive. That's nothing. And that's cheaper than not a mistress. Even talking, right? that's cheaper, than a mistress. mistress. cheaper than a mistress. Cheaper than a mistress. Yeah, right. <laughs> Way cheaper More than a mistress. Too. Well, they're coming, they're coming out with a new doll. And it's going to be 15 grand. Basically, mm. you could get one for a Bitcoin. Okay. Mm, uh, wow. For a bit cool. Yeah. That's and funny. This Damn, doll that's competition, man. is a little more sophisticated. It talks. It can remember your birthday. It can fake orgasms, refuse to do housework. Sounds Every- like me. It sounds like, <laughs> <laughs> it sounds like a Saudi Arabian citizen. <laughs> <laughs> and, and it is. Um, so, but there is a potential problem that they've realized. They do have a computer in them, but it's not a sophisticated one, so it would be easy to hack into. Oh! And oh, they can kill oh, you with their thighs. Oh. And they can wrap their thighs around you and kill move. you during intercourse. <laughs> so they could pick up a knife. Oh, okay. Tim, are you already Where have you been? <laughs> I know. Are you already You're late. I don't want to be ignored, Tim. You, you told me ten. <laughs> so is this a Law & Order episode waiting to happen? Oh, yeah. Or? Oh, yeah. Mm-hmm. I that actually, would be fun to like program somebody's yeah lives. to hack it. Hell yeah, that'd be hysterical. Oh my god, we could be great yeah. hackers. They could be assassins, like <coughs> hidden assassins. Well, you could be dolls. both the hackers well, and the the. The doll's to gonna be the actual yeah. hacker. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. So you hack it so to get the business for them to come to you too. Mm-hmm. Yeah, right. Brilliant. Oh, that's why he's yeah, on our make show. Make it break down every couple <laughs> years. Yep. Yes. Make it catch a disease. Exactly. Has to be cleaned like out. It's like the iPhone. Yeah, like like the iPhone. Yeah. Like it starts to get wonky right before the new one comes out. Yeah. 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 It gets a virus. So, uh-huh. Uh-huh. So, <laughs> so if your doll kills a couple of people, you go get a new one? You just trade up for the new, yeah. the new yeah. version. Yeah. I'm yeah, sorry. There's always going to be trading up, trading Could up. Could you imagine the junkyards in like, you know, 50 years or 100 <laughs> so years from creepy. now with all these body parts? And yes. All these. <laughs> all yeah. So miles. creepy. <laughs> So, but I, I was thinking, earlier you mentioned something, and I was thinking, like, yes. the Lola doll, a Lola sex doll. Could you oh, imagine God. her, like, get off of me, lick my boots. <laughs> like, <laughs> Fuck you, pay me. Yeah. <laughs> you subscribe to my channel. <laughs> subscribe to my channel. <laughs> Can you get it a little iPhone so it could go on Instagram? <laughs> so, uh, yeah, well, I actually, because I knew we were going to talk about this today, Watched Westworld last night, oh, the original movie. Yes. Isn't, isn't that yeah, the original movie, yeah. That was so I, I brilliant. Yeah. It. The original Have you ever one. Seen it? The original yeah, movie back in the it. 70s was yep. brilliant. Really oh, good. Oh, you got to check it out. It's really? a, yeah. They, they have these three different. I, I haven't seen the TV the new show. L, yet. The, the HBO show is like everything else. It's goes, overdone. It goes and, past what the movie and, and originally well, yeah, was. Exactly. They have three worlds. I don't want to ruin the story of a movie from 1973 for you folks. <laughs> but it has three worlds. I'm the only uncool one. But Sorry. It's, the it's Roman like, world. It's like, the r- it's like Wild a new West. amusement park yeah. for adults. And they have medieval times, they have Roman times, and they have Westworld. Which okay. is the and old Wild West. You can, like, you know, go live your fantasies out until the robots. So they, now yeah, and start the, the park people. is filled with robots. Oh, that sounds fun. That, you know, they have the they have the the saloon with the bartender and the right. and the hookers and the mm-hmm. and the um, gunslingers and all yeah. that. So you can have shootouts with them and shoot them, but right. they can't shoot you back mm-hmm. until oh, wow. there's a malfunction. And they have Rome, <laughs> and they have Rome where they have the uh, yeah. yes, the, Roman the orgies and, and the fuckers, and they have yeah. They have, it's all about sex. medieval times <laughs> where and they murder. have the knights sex and the hookers. And murder, yes, exactly. <laughs> Which gives me okay. the question. All right, on sex dolls. Good for ratings. But wait, on sex dolls, why is this always well, females? So, 
on like, what? How many male sex dolls is there? And do we actually need a Not full a body male, male sex doll or do we just need what we have, the vibrating vibrator? So you just well, want like a head? Do we need well, the whole need, doll? Yeah. <laughs> well, you tell me. I mean, this is. I don't need the whole Well, I've seen, doll, I've seen the male doll. Unless the whole and doll can like, do yeah. oral sex and stuff. All yeah. it is is a penis then that vibrates, right? Yeah. Right. So then or you just, just put it down like to oral. its main thing. Right. Okay, well. You I'm can, asking. Like you can write in some suggestions. Yeah. You're, yeah. You know, you usually got but some good practical ideas. See, would we need an entire male? I wouldn't want a male doll laying around. Yeah. Right. I'd want him working. <laughs> yeah. Like carrying exactly. my couch and shit. Yeah. Yeah. Like really. Taking you're, out the you're garbage. You're gonna lay around. I think not, Mister. Yeah. <laughs> Doing the dishes. Reloading. <laughs> She's got her doll up working. That's right. Got my doll out on the corner. <laughs> well. We're still going to stay in the area of technology okay. for a moment. Oh, okay. We're done with the sex dolls. Oh. What have they <laughs> really done for any of us? I just oh. thought it'd be cute to like, have a really made-out doll, like a male doll that's fully thingy, and then he just stands in the corner doing like, push-ups well, and sit-ups. Oh, yeah. And stuff. That, would, that be would be fun. Yeah. Uh -huh. You can write all these suggestions in. I know. I'm good with suggestions. Still take up too much room. No, yeah. he's in the corner, and he just does like push-ups and. Is that why your dog stuff. is so small? And just keeps yeah. saying, "I want you." I like, I, I like, you. and you just see those Space beautiful efficient. muscles yes. working Space out, efficient. you know. <laughs> yeah, I mean, you know, a male body is beautiful in that way. Mm -hmm. I have to give him to him, give that to him. Well, if that's the case, then I just want the penis. Yeah, I'll just forget the body. I think they already have those. That's what I mean. Yeah. Just the yeah, vibrator. Yeah, I know. So, so why invent the wheel? <laughs> <laughs> Lola has just wiped out the whole sex doll industry. <laughs> just keep We're back to 1970. <laughs> back to Westworld. Right. Back to Westworld. Right. Okay. Well, um, I think we all probably agree that people text too much. Yeah. Yeah. But I love texting. I prefer me texting too. than calling. I do too. I, do I don't too. like it when people call me. I'm like, just text me, damn it. Yeah. It's just like here, this, this, done. Set. Yeah, exactly. Over. I'll get to it when I need to get to it. Yeah. yeah. Right. Well, you know, we'll go into a restaurant. There'll be two people sitting there together texting other people. Mm -hmm. right. Well, a guy in Texas said, I've had enough of this. And he fought back. Because mm -hmm. he had a date with a girl that he met online, you know, <gasps> chat I got site. One for you. And they went to the movies. And she wouldn't stop texting, so we During sued the movie? her. Ooh, that would piss we sued me her off. for the cost of her movie ticket, seventeen dollars <laughs> and thirty-one cents. Uh, that's funny. <laughs> that's funny. I don't know. What do you guys think? Has he got some grounds? I mean, if if a date I was mean, really bad. I think I think it's rude. I think it's rude to mm. to do that. You think he should just eat the seventeen bucks? Well, yes, of course, because there was no signed contract saying that yes. she was going look to sit at, there and her. watch the movie this is what we love and maybe it. do this, well, you know, so during the her. movie to him. There was no like contract whatsoever. He, he bought the ticket and gave it to her with no oral contract or anything. I'm guessing. But that's so what he she wanted. She has the right <laughs> to do whatever the hell she he wants, oral even contact. get up and exactly. walk out if she wants to. Right. So no, he doesn't get his money back Damn. unless there was a contract. He actually, <laughs> believe it or not, did get his money back mm. because yeah. the story got attention and a TV show had them both on again, uh, reunited, uh -huh. and she gave him back his $17.31. Right. Well, yeah, so, you could do that, yeah. So, Tara, if you're interested, this guy's got money. No, this guy's an <laughs> He's asshole. for a movie. 17 <laughs> bucks. Well, just don't text mm -hmm. in the movie. And he obviously thinks that if he paid for it, you're supposed to do whatever the fuck. No, even as an escort, you don't do whatever the fuck. You negotiate and you say yes or no. So I don't care about no damn ticket. Damn it. How elaborate are those negotiations? I'll buy my own damn way. ticket. However elaborate they need to be. Well, I mean, what's typical, like, you know, give and take? Oh, usually it's, you know. Well, with escorts, you try not to talk too much about it. But, you, you know, like for an extra, you know, oh, will you blow me without a condom, an extra 50? No. You know, will mm -hmm. you do it from behind? Will you stick your finger up my butt? Extra 100. You want somebody to suck your teeth? A hundred bucks for yeah. a finger? Oh my God, I well, would have a fortune. I would have a fortune. Yeah. <laughs> well, I'd be rich. See, you set your, you That's set like your price. That's like 500 for a fist. You set your price according to how much um, weird how, how guiltiness desired. or something yeah. the, the guy has. Like if he thinks it's really, really freaky. Yeah, right. You know, 500 uh -huh. bucks. But if he does it all the damn time and he knows it's not freaky, yeah, freaky exactly. then, you know, 50 bucks. You know, yeah. you just kind of charge somebody. That makes sense. Whatever the market will bear, 
Yeah, pretty much. Yeah. 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 Hmm. Okay. I know I walked out with 1500 once. Wow. Did Just you? like an hour and a half. That was really nice. And what did you have to do? Anything weird? Not too much. Dun, no. dun, 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 dun. <laughs> Everything, you know, pretty standard. But there were no sex dolls? Oh, no. No sex dolls? No, no Has sex dolls. Has anybody ever brought any kind of weird stuff? Put them? Yeah, well, like, somebody, like, show up somebody like, brought a pump to pump himself up because oh. he couldn't get an erection. That was weird. Uh -huh. So he went to the bathroom. I hear this. <laughs> 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 yeah. Do they have like a foot pump, like a bicycle? Like, yeah. <laughs> yeah, like, <laughs> or the, like, the one, yeah. like, like when they take your blood pressure? The mm -hmm. Yeah. That's I don't remember what we used to do with a football. Yeah. And I don't allow anybody to bring any of their own toys because you don't know how they cleaned them, yeah, right. where they've uh, been, uh -huh. yeah. or Absolutely. will they malfunction while inside you? Yeah. Do a Westworld. You know, yeah. Oh. <laughs> yeah. Now that would be another story. Yeah. I and I got use, a story your, out use of you. your own condoms. I would have lost the guest, but I would have got a really good story. Mm -hmm. Yeah, yeah. No, you, you tend not to use whatever the clients bring in. Not a, and you don't, excuse me, you don't usually even drink his liquor. Mm hmm. Oh. oh, yeah, I don't yeah, know. That's that. yeah. Good. yeah, do you yeah, know any girls smart. that have ever been drugged or anything? No, I don't know any girls that were, but it happens. But I don't uh -huh. know any girls that, because I guess most well, of us, are, we just don't. Uh -huh. Most of us. Well, I mean, were you advised not to? Yeah. Or taught? No, yeah I would yeah, think yeah. so, yeah, because yeah, I'm, sure, I'm sure that it's, it's yeah. happened. I mean, yeah. most women nowadays know if you leave your drink, don't drink it. You know, there's mm -hmm. so many, so many just everyday girls, as I call them, mm -hmm. know all these rules also. Just, you know, sometimes you forget. Is there, like, uh, any kind of orientation or anything? Like that? Is there? It, <laughs> not really. No. There should be. There should be. Right? Yeah. yeah. Or at least a, a I've been list writing, of rules I've been, I've been actually dollars. writing a book in order to help yeah. girls that are first coming into the business just uh -huh. to know what to expect and everything like that. So I've been writing that. And it's because I was lucky. I first joined um, an agency that had other girls, and we all had to be in a room together while we were waiting to go out on calls. So while we were sitting there, we would talk. And, and the, share and the girls, the uh -huh. experienced girls, will, will break in the new girls and say, da da da, you know. Right. And then a lot of times, um, the agency will send you out with an experienced girl the first couple of times. Mm. But other times, you're just out there on your own. Like my first guy, I wow. was just out there. I just mm. went, opened the door, and there he was. It's and like I, flying solo. Yeah. They were just like, go there, uh, say hi, was. ask for the money, call in, and then just take it from there. Wow. How, how weird of an experience was that, like your first time? Oh, it was like normal meeting a guy, normal sex. Oh. It was just like normal kind of stuff. The only mistake I made is he had a beard, and he went down on me because I just didn't know. I uh -huh. was trying to please too much, and that beard just either rubbed me raw or he didn't wash it. And I had a like a Rash. redness for two or three days. Oh. Uh -huh. Thankfully, it didn't do anything else, but uh -huh. it was red and burning. And I learned from then on, no more of that shit. Yeah. Is there any kind of workman's comp? No. no. Sometimes, though, you can say at the end of the thing, <laughs> ow, ow, you know, you owe me an extra 50. You rubbed a little too hard, uh -huh. you know. But you don't do that until you're old and experienced. Yeah. Right. When until you're new and trying before. to please, you yeah, know. Exactly. <laughs> You know, I want to be a good whore. <laughs> I want good reviews. Are you a good whore? <laughs> yeah, I'm a good whore. I'm a good whore. <laughs> so, yeah. Well, our next couple of stories actually focus on working girls. Oh, good. Mm -hmm. So you oh, will good. have, I'm sure, a lot of expertise to uh, okay. contribute. Okay, I'll fill in. Okay. For our first, for our next story, we're heading to Nebraska. Ooh. And he doesn't have been to Nebraska. Uh -uh. Mm -hmm. Really? Yeah. What was it like? I might have Anything driven through it, that's um, it. Maha. I'm from the Midwest. It's very Midwest, very kind of flat and farmland, that type mm -hmm. of thing. And yeah. Or at least Omaha, around Omaha it was, mm -hmm. or it seemed to be. Well, a guy in Nebraska repeatedly was hiring prostitutes to strip on his neighbor's front porch. <laughs> oh, that's funny. <laughs> okay. That's funny. It's like, Over a period of four years. It's like ordering mm -hmm. pizza. Right. In a different way. <laughs> 75 times. And he eventually was arrested, convicted, and sentenced to four years. So what I find fascinating about this story is after 75 times, they started getting really upset about this. After 75. Yeah. No, that's, yeah. when the, that's when the neighbor got a girlfriend. The girlfriend was like, what the yeah, fuck exactly. is going on Yeah, here? exactly. And he's like, oh. That's my neighbor pranking me. Yeah. <laughs> I'm so upset. Yeah. We're going to put an end to this now. Yeah. Now. I don't know why it continues. Yeah. Where's that neighborhood watch? Yeah. 
And by the way, stamp my book. I get a free one next time. <laughs> exactly. But uh, so I mean, what was the feud, or why would he do that? that Wouldn't that be an expensive prank? Yeah. And doesn't yeah. Nebraska yeah. get yeah. cold, so it has well, to be in the summer? <laughs> yes, <Yeah>, right. Because <laughs> that'd be like an extra five hundred bucks. It's cold out yeah. there. <laughs> one of the interesting things in the story, they didn't really say that, but they said that the girls would bang on the door and ask for a payment. I mean, would girls go out and do that on spec and no, not get paid in advance? No, no. I, I guess don't it's believe different that. in Nebraska. No, they get paid first, and They're then they do <laughs> Unless, unless the story was they went to that. Excuse me. Maybe it was like a. They went gram. to that door and knocked, unless thinking that was the client's harass, door. Right. Unless right. he asked them to harass the people in the house. No, 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 no. Girls aren't going to do or that unless crap. Unless he said go you and, and attract will. Cops. Yeah, and they'll pay you no. when you're there or something. Yeah, or, no, know. what you do... Because wouldn't you, know, you think, I mean, no, in Nebraska... No, because the agency gets the, gets the address and everything like that, and then you show up at that address and you knock That's on That's what door. I mean. Wouldn't after maybe the 10th time of this happening, wouldn't you kind of catch on? Right. Yeah, to go like, to 75 is fucking extreme. Yeah. <laughs> Although... Like somebody, something is not uh, connected. I mean, there. back in the olden days when all the when there was a limited amount of agencies... Cause, they you know, still could count to 75. You know, <laughs> you can only go through so many agencies before everybody knows you're number and says it's bullshit right but now where there's so many independent girls online you can go through thousands of girls before it gets out that you're a dork mm -hmm. but yeah. no normally you knock on the door and you say hi you know hi you charlie hey come on in i'm a good whore and then you, you know, yeah i'm a good whore i'm glenda the good whore <laughs> <laughs> and then you know you say hi and you know the agency said you know four hundred dollars for my time and so they'll so like, you pay up front and, yeah yeah that's what I would have thought, but yeah. this is like a real yeah. story. So now, now, it could be that she knocked on that door and said, Hi, I'm Glenda the Good Whore. And he was like, I didn't hire you. And she's like, you, you asshole, you give me 20 bucks for the taxi because I'm not wasting my time coming out here because we got $20 or something for our you taxis. You think word would have got around Omaha by, yeah. uh, by the 50th. Yeah, and right so, right yeah, on. the whore gets pissed off if you're that's left there standing. That's the same dumb whore. <laughs> yeah, that's true. That's possible. A lot of meth heads now. <laughs> It comes back again. Good damn, yeah. this happened to me last week. So I yeah. see that happen, really I don't see anybody ball. being. I don't see any girls stripping naked first. Now they could show up half naked. No, they were showing of, stuff. Well, they might show stuff like open the door. Hi, I'm Glenda. So the that's door. what I'm thinking. <laughs> that's what, <laughs> Glenda. I live in too conservative. I live in too conservative of a neighborhood. I need more of this kind of thing. But that's what I'm thinking. It's almost like he almost had to pay for them to come to do this. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Well, that's what I would But he say. would have had to have told, told them ahead of time and paid them a lot. Because I don't see too many of them risking getting in trouble with the cops. I wouldn't think so. Fuck yeah. all these whores. What's the on next front story? Porch in, <laughs> on front porch in Nebraska, the yeah. night, that might be like two miles before you see yeah. anything else. And if it happens over yeah. and over again, there's something going on with the neighbor or something. I don't yeah, know. Yeah. I just can't You're imagine gonna do something more happening research. 75 times. I may go to Nebraska and check this out myself. <laughs> For scientific purposes. Because I, I, I need to know. Yes. Yeah. Okay. That's kind of funny, though. That is, that is good now, one. we are delving further okay. into the career of the working girl. Okay. Okay? Um, now, you've dealt with a lot of guys. Would you say that some of them are not particularly good in bed? Oh, God, yes. <laughs> No That's hesitation. Easy. Okay. Now, how do you handle Have you ever tried to give encouragement or constructive criticism? I don't do constructive criticism. What I do is I start doing what is good and then hope they catch on. But the vast majority of the time they don't. They go right back to the crap that they were doing. Mm. Have you ever considered shooting them in the head? Yes. Yes. <laughs> Fantasy wise, yes. Yes, I have. And or just why? smack it up. You, you know. And I'll do it again, damn Blend, it. Blend of the good whore, you know, never complained about their technique. <laughs> well, there was a gal. Okay, I need to put my clothes who, back uh, on. Had a guy performing oral sex on her. Thank you. And she mm -hmm. said he wasn't doing it right, and she shot him in the head twice. Ooh. Oh. I could get, wow. If he bit her, yes, because there's some guys that are stupid I was thinking like about that. the guy with the beard when you were telling oh, me yeah, that Oh, yeah. Okay, but yeah. Her, think about it. Strate strategically, her gun had to be within distance. It had to be loaded. It had to have the safety off. Then she had to point it, aim, and shoot. Was she, was she, the, she was a, a professional? She was a professional. Okay, so she, she then, might have went for with security. Whore? Yeah. It's right she there. Then, so went, she would have to she have it. She took his 
credit card and went on a shopping spree. Oh, yeah, he got robbed. <laughs> yeah. That's called run in your pockets. That's what we call it in Brooklyn. <laughs> I think but, she might have been having a bad day, and then the bad oral sex on top of that, she was just like, It was just it. that sad. <laughs> We're <laughs> going shopping. <Yeah. laughs> That but or he, that time to that go or he pissed her off Bam. before or yeah. something, and she knew. <laughs> but she didn't kill him, so her aim wasn't so good Ooh. either. Oh, he didn't. Oh, okay. No. She just she shot, shot him. him twice in the head. Mm-hmm. God, what a bad shot. Yeah. In the head? You're supposed to die when you get shot in the head. Yeah, Unless you get grazed yeah, or something. Yeah, that's, but... in the, that's in the, the whole thing. But come on, how far can he be? Yeah, right. Well, no, she could be well, up she here. She might have got up and moved away. I mean, well, I don't she know. She could be sitting on the face right here with the purse right there. Yeah, and then, so, then he's not moving very far. She can no, he was eating her out, wasn't he? Yeah. Yes. Or right, she's sitting on his face as he's laying down. Oh, I see what you right mean. right there. Uh-huh. Yeah. So um, she was arrested. The police, she asked the police to call another one of her Johns oh. to put up the million dollars yeah. bail. Yeah. Oh. Yes. Talk Finger about pointed. Lousy girl. Oh, my God. Wow. Okay. Did you have any guys who would come through for you, Tyra, in this situation? A million dollars? Hell no. No. <laughs> Might get a couple thousand. <laughs> no, Damn. not a million. She's, she yeah. must have been high up there or something. Yeah. Well, something must she have been. She like she was high on something. Yeah. <laughs> she must have been running with that crowd. No, I got all the middle class, class and upper middle class. Low, low rich. So you never I actually didn't did anyone rich. any physical harm? I didn't what? You never actually did anyone any physical harm. <laughs> you got to think about it. I love that. <laughs> Just, I don't think so. <laughs> see, Lola is well-rounded. She does physical harm and psychological torture. So. And corporal punishment. Guys. <laughs> I'm very good at that. Get paid extra for don't that. Don't book the two ninety nine a minute for the full half hour until you <laughs> take the 10-minute sampler. <laughs> That's assuming you bruise easy. We have Serena. Okay, that. We're, going to turn to, <laughs> we're going to turn to Tim now. Oh, it must be a gay question. Do you, like, <laughs> do you like to travel? Yes. You do. Have you ever been to Kenya? No. No. But he went to Nebraska. <laughs> I was on tour. Okay. Well. That's the only excuse acceptable for Nebraska. I was on tour. I thought there was a chance you were responsible for this next story. Because apparently the, the head of, is it censor? What's he called? The local moral leader and censor. Oh, okay. Oh, he's lions right now so in Kenya. Well, he saw two lions male oh, lions go. going at it uh-huh and he claims yep. that the reason for this is they must have witnessed two men performing a homosexual okay. acts. another another oh, real brilliant brilliant yeah, mind of our time some interesting yeah, ideas that's in Africa. ridiculous yeah. dogs hump everything i know yeah there's there's a lion there are signs of homosexuality in, in pretty every much every yeah, yeah every hello every species. i'm not blaming tim directly <laughs> <laughs> i'm just gathering they information saw one of my videos i'm doing my preliminary jungle. investigation yeah. yeah now if well, he was in kenya like, i gotta oh, figure <laughs> <laughs> no yeah in animal kingdom in every kingdom, there's gayness, plus there's mm-hmm. dominance fucking. Yeah. Right. So oh, it yeah. could have been, you know, two gay lions. It That's could right. have been one lion dominating another lion and telling them who's boss. Yeah. But, but they saw but my video. But, you know, in a lot of countries, they don't, they, they, they this truly. This doesn't. <laughs> <laughs> Bites on the back of the neck. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> That's cat single. <laughs> so um, you're not shocked by this behavior. You're okay with these lions. With the lions? Doing their thing. That, that's what animals do. To each do. their own, yeah. Okay. That's what yeah. animals do. Sex, sex right. is so powerful in, in, the, in every species. Mm-hmm. It's a And you accept no thing. responsibility. That's the important thing that we need to establish. Yes, no, I did not you teach not the there. lions you did not send any, that technique, no. any of your special videos yeah. <laughs> to Africa. <laughs> not that I can recall, no. No, because they have some pretty good uh, you know, technology. Yeah, how bush. many gay men are out in the middle of Africa, Kenya, out in the bush? Doing it in front of, I mean, wouldn't Fucking you want to... in front of How many gay men are in the bush? How would about you, that? Would you really want to be doing that when there are lions? No. Walking? Yeah, exactly, watching, taking no. notes. You've got to want so it really terrified. bad. How do they even get it up? I'd be so terrified. <laughs> how does it even work? 
Yeah, yeah, yeah. You don't want it really bad to be doing it with lions. Yeah, really they'll get you. And get your back is turned. Them. Get those pheromones up and mm -hmm. everything you know. Oh, they might fuck you before they kill you too because the pheromones are circling in the air. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Have you ever seen like all those dogs where one dog is fucking and then all the other dogs come they joining come in? I've been yeah, the dog like the pheromones. Go, the yeah. <laughs> they all came running. The pheromones oh, go the in the air and this is a free for all. What kind of bizarre neighborhood do you live in? <laughs> <laughs> Are you like mad? <laughs> They're like doggy gang, but you you give doggy style a whole new meaning. No, name. you see videos on uh, YouTube. I don't watch those videos. <laughs> I want that established right now. <laughs> but you watch the the gay lions? Yeah. No, I just read about that. Roar. I haven't seen that either. The Roar. gay lions. Roar. No, the shame of it is, is there's there's so many countries now that still truly believe that gayness is like a psychological weirdness. Mm -hmm. Or that you know their their brain is damaged. No, we know that Tim is just psychologically weird. It has nothing to do with that at all. <laughs> exactly, right. just so, a coincidence. Yes, but I happen to be both. Yeah, so they have to blame it on something because they can't admit that it occurs naturally. And if you believe in God, God sanctioned because why would God create something Man. and then curse it? <laughs> They blame God well, for everything. God did that and did that to man twice, I think, if I remember my Bible. So, well, God is per knows. supposedly perfect, <laughs> but yet he supposedly creates these imperfect, imperfect. creatures. Why? and Yeah, it yeah, wouldn't make so any sense. That are to but be yeah, condemned no, they get, whatever. It's, it's like global warming. They can't admit that it's happening because then they would have to admit a bunch of other stuff, and they just don't right, want to. Right, right. Well, it's already pretty warm in Africa. But no, it occurs mm -hmm. in the kingdom all the time, homosexuality all the time. <laughs> yeah. Both females, males. In fact, if they play around with um, different amounts of testosterone and estrogen, they can make a, a, a rat become, a male rat become female and start wanting to be mounted, and they can make a female rat become well, male and start mounting. Is that genetics? Or is no, that they can play, no, they play around with um, <laughs> testosterone and estrogen. Uh, estrogen. Is there yeah. an issue over which restroom the rat has to use? Yes, or? right. I know, and then, then they argue. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> no, they played around with rats and turned them back and forth, back and forth. It was just a bunch of hormones hmm. okay. for most wow. of it, yeah. All my hormones. Let's be really right. quick <laughs> I look at all rats equally. I have no problem, no issue with their sexual Hey, rats problems. go both ways. What can I say? Maybe that study was just, you know, maybe they just didn't take that into concept. I think most people go both ways. They just don't want to admit it. Uh, well, that, that's, they don't, mm -hmm. society won't allow them to admit yeah. it. So, mm -hmm. so, yeah. That's why we got so much no, repression I think there's and all fun that. I, No, I think there's like fundamental heterosexuals. Because I think I'm one. I don't think mm -hmm. I have any desire to... Have sex with a female <laughs> at all. Yeah. I mean, I could be emotionally attached to females, uh -huh. but I'm not ever sexually attracted to females. Mm -hmm. Okay. So I think that you there's never men like look that at a woman too. and go, I've got to have that. Yeah, no. Uh -huh. mm -mm. No, I can totally <laughs> appreciate the beauty, huh? but mm -mm. not anymore. No. no. Yeah. But did something actually change there? I mean, at some point you were. With women, with that, just because well, you thought what you had to do. Because you societal pressures, okay. yeah, yeah. But even back then, you knew which direction you were headed? Well, I would be having sex with my girlfriend and looking over, my, over and her shoulder and imagining her brother, having sex oh. with her brother or something. Right. You know? so <laughs> it was like, something's wrong with this picture. <laughs> <Yes>. <laughs> I'm going to go along with you there. Okay, we're, <laughs> we're still on travel. Still okay. traveling, okay. Uh, we've been to Nebraska, we've been to Kenya. We need we're to actually, talk, start talking about but those people live yes, there. We're actually in our I'm travel like, segment. Yeah, it's hot in you're, here. You're, you're hot, aren't you? Yeah, you see me sweating. I took my jacket off. No, I'm fine. Oh. Maybe I'm going You to... are sweating. Girl, I'll just be totally you weren't like sexy that in the throw that summer jacket away. Huh? You weren't like that in the summer I know. I have thyroid issues, dude. That's what happens. Do you? Yeah. Well, that you got a fur coat draped over you. Yeah, exactly. Just toss that to the side. I think you'll be good. People want to see your beautiful breast. You yeah, have do. very beautiful breasts. Show off the puppies. All of a sudden, so you're converting <laughs> Tara. No, see? I totally no appreciate beautiful, beautiful bodies. Hell yeah. But it doesn't mean I want to fuck them. I can appreciate a beautiful, beautiful body, horse. It doesn't mean I want to fuck them. <laughs> yeah, this is different. <laughs> All right. Uh, two strangers are on a plane. Coming Ooh. from different places, mm -hmm. heading to different Mile places, high club. just changing mm -hmm. flights somewhere. Anonymous. Oh, in an airport. No, they're in the plane. They're in the plane. They're both gonna travel somewhere to get connecting flights somewhere I else. See. I don't know each okay. other. She's forty-eight. He's twenty-eight. Hot. And Good. Um, okay. at some point, cougar. 
Wow. She starts performing oral sex on this person. Uh, At just some point, she just went poop. <laughs> what, in coach? <laughs> she didn't even hand job at first to test out the water. In coach? Ew. And, uh, <laughs> and uh, he didn't shoot her, so I guess she did it okay. <laughs> <laughs> Lucky they don't allow well, guns on the plane. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> he didn't shoot it. But uh, I don't know. How do you guys feel about this sort of public display of uh, sexual Oh, I love it. I love it. All right. It, sex. Again, depends on the players. Absolutely. Because sometimes mm-hmm. you could look at something and be like, oh, that's hot. And then you could look at it and be like, Bleh! So I think it depends. I think well, it depends always, on the players and in the environment. Absolutely. Well, yeah. I've always I've always enjoyed kind so of you, like that danger aspect, you know, of getting caught yeah, in, the, in yeah. that in light and yeah. it heightens the thrill. Do yeah. you think yeah, that the sure. people around get to vote? I do. Yeah. Eight point well, five. Eight. Eight. Yeah. Well, I mean, <laughs> that would be funny. <laughs> that would be funny. Yeah. Well, because. It's not just the sex, because look at what's involved in sex. You've got the noise, right? So you got the movement of the chair back and forth. So like if you're sitting in front and that chair is going back and forth like that, right? Uh-huh. And then you got the smell in a uh-huh. small enclosed area. So yes, the people around them do have a choice because stuff is affecting them. Mm-hmm. Now, if you could put in earplugs and oxygen mask and everything like that, then no. But well, as long as something's flight. affecting you, yes, you the have the right to say no. Oh, you know, wow. when I was George in high Wine. school, I actually worked at a pizza place, and this couple came in and started having sex. In the pizza place. In the pizza place, and I was closing, I like and I was like in high school, and I remember going, uh, <laughs> like, like, I didn't know what to say. Like, how do how do you stop right? people? Uh-huh. And like they were they were adults, and I was a kid. So I like remember calling my manager, being um, <laughs> right, dude, there's people having sex in the restaurant <laughs> on the table. On the table. Yeah, wow. not even a table. booth. I was thinking like in a booth or something. In the oh, they were, it was a booth, but it was like, but it was by the front window. Which, I mean, oh my God. but it was closing time. I mean, were there a lot of people? This was in, in, this was was in it LA. Empty? In LA? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. Well, anything wow. goes. And I was just like, wow. And then I yeah, never ate pizza there again. <laughs> yeah. Ever again. Did they have sex there again is all I wanted. All I know is I can never forget the smell of linguisa. <laughs> and I don't eat that shit. So. You should have brought the Windex bottle and said, clean it up. <laughs> you know, and I thought about that because I did have a puppy. And I was like, usually if he does something wrong, I spray him. Yeah. Right. So I was thinking if I just take the soda thing. Yeah. But then I was like, Started I'll have to clean it up. next to him. Um, spray I'd love to have seen that. Yeah. yeah. Oh, my God. That's a win. Yeah. Yeah. Well, it's like Harvey Weinstein coming out of his bathroom in a bathroom. <laughs> yeah. At first you go, uh, yeah. <laughs> you know? So, yeah. You don't, you don't expect it. <laughs> yeah. I don't know. I think sex is a very personal thing, and there's people that are exhibitionists and voyeurs mm-hmm. and stuff, mm-hmm. and there's a place for everybody. Mm-hmm. But... For me personally, I don't like to be sideswiped by like walking yeah, in right. and then all of a sudden something happening because I think if you don't prepare for it, you're like, oh my God, what the hell is that? But yeah. you do the same thing at home. You know what I mean? Yeah. But it's just like when yeah. you're not expecting it, it's that feeling of like, holy shit, I'm, I'm not supposed to be saying this right now. Lola's not into surprises, folks. So <laughs> <laughs> if you stop by your house, at least keep your clothes on for a couple of minutes. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> And we all will be over, so. Oh, okay. <laughs> Broadcasting your address at the end of the show. Oh, fantastic. Okay. Uh, fantastic. Continuing with our travel itinerary. Okay. We're heading to Columbia. Oh, okay. South Not America. South Carolina. They've got we're actually going to Columbia. Great bodies down there. Columbia, yeah. Columbia. Yeah, yeah. Well, that's good. Because a travel company called, what were they called? The Good Girls Company was booking a hooker holiday. Woohoo! Oh, that would be Oh, there's cool. a lot of companies that do that. You remember the old Beach Boys song, Two Girls often. for Every Boy? Well, uh-huh. <laughs> they were going to have two hookers for every male. I think it was like $1,400. Oh, this would be like it? a straight guy's dream come true. $1,400 for this uh, drug-friendly hooker fest. Or Dominican okay. Republic. They said they, they were going to yeah. have, yeah. o- have an open-minded DJ, whatever the hell that means. Okay. Yeah, we're rap, all me. <laughs> like, that, what kind of dumb shit is that? I don't have an open mind. He's willing to play country. <laughs> yeah. Uh, okay. Whatever floats your boat. Yeah. But surprisingly enough, the government put the kibosh on it. Why? They said that it's oh, not the cool. way they want the country to be perceived, and the guys would be deported 
and the uh, work and the people Deported organizing where? Aren't they would from be around. Columbia? Oh no, these are <laughs> never mind from, their history. Like, the oh, United. people coming in. Oh, this is a <laughs> Oh, uh, I see. I see. So people from other countries are co yes. converging on in more ways than one in Colombia. Okay, I so see. So they don't want um, to be known as like a, a sex um, sex holiday, country. sex tourism. Yeah, somehow like Thailand. this gave them a bad reputation. I can't understand why. You mean them bringing the curtain down on it, or no? The the whole thing they felt was like I mean, it didn't. I would have thought me. it would have been good for tourism. Yeah, really. I think I think the government should delegalize it and then start doing taxes and regulating it. Yeah, and, all right. And Healthcare being proud and of it. it because you Own can it. have yeah you can have different qualities. You know mm -hmm. you can become a country that's known for the the best, the most exotic, the, the best most gorgeous good horse ever. <laughs> yeah, you you know yeah. you you get a niche and you you do it that way or something. Well, it could be like it's West not World. A, yeah. So did where you, you have ever, like different? Mm -hmm. Yeah. Did you but ever travel go, for uh, no. work? No. Mm -mm. Mm -mm. They never flew any girls into like. No, New into, York like, was good uh, enough Turan for me. <laughs> oh, you only worked in New York? Yeah, only in New York. Yeah, they came to me. They were on tour. <laughs> would, you, <laughs> would you have been open to being? Sure, if they paid me for the hours. Yeah. Okay. If they paid me for the hours. So yeah. some Saudi prince wanted to. Uh, oh God, you no. Out? no. Uh -uh. Uh -uh. Not your kind of. Fashion. I ain't going anywhere where I could become. Just yeah. imprisoned somewhere right. and disappeared. Right, no. exactly. I'm yeah. not going anywhere. I don't care. Uh -uh. Mm -mm. So mm -mm. picky. I don't know. I don't know why girls go anywhere like that because mm -hmm. they could just disappear at any time. Mm -hmm. okay. It's like it's like going on a cruise with a client. <laughs> You better make sure he didn't do any kind of like insurance on your ass before the cruise. No way. Yeah, right. Can you imagine? Don't get too close to the end. Well, we're yeah. starting to wind down. We got a little time left, so I want to throw this in because it kind of relates to the last story. Okay. In Brazil, okay. in the event you got bounced out of Colombia, they have opened or are opening a sex-themed amusement park. Oh yeah, okay. I talked about yeah. that. Yeah. yeah. And. Mm -hmm. uh, you're not actually allowed to have sex there, but they're going to have a hotel nearby. What's the point? What's the fucking well, point? They're, yeah. going to, they're going to have like a It's like having a cannabis festival, but you can't smoke, smoke. shit. Yeah. Exactly. That's a good point. Mm -hmm. That's freaking Well, at least retarded. that's officially. So, all right. So you guys are all kind of down on the no yeah. sex. No, sex no. Theme. If you're going to do it, do it. They like where to, anybody, yeah, anybody can do whatever they want as long it. as it's consensual. It's always been part of human conception. It's stuff that has to, it, it's a need that has to be met. You know, people always seem to forget that there's a bunch of men out there that cannot have sex. Yeah. Mm -hmm. You know, because they're either crippled mm -hmm. or they're just too ugly or dorky or they don't feel like going through the whole uh, courting rituals, mm -hmm. you know, and so you need to cater to them. There's, there's a bunch of old guys that are lonely because their wives died. You have to cater to that kind of stuff. There, mm -hmm. it, there's a need, and sex is part of human companionship as well. It's part of having an orgasm and being healthy, but it's also part of human human companionship. Cleans out the prostate. Yeah, and to make yeah. one form, you know, bad and prostate. another form and good. And pretty clean these days. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. They, they need to just embrace it, and then we can start to actually make it a profession. We can unionize. Yeah, right. We can make it a profession. We can have different guilds with different um, skills. I want to know what the rides are going to be like. Yeah. Well, it gives a new meaning to log ride. <laughs> yeah, right. <laughs> and then maybe the well, sex they, industry they won't just be geared towards fem uh, male sex, but would also start to take in uh, female sex and yeah. what females yeah, will right, actually right. want. That's never well, been women, discussed. Uh, yeah, exactly, because women in the patriarchal yeah. society right. have always been the subservient. Well, You're there to serve Well, not only that, that we've been so brainwashed oh, in patriarchal that's what I mean. society but that we don't I mean. even know what female sex is. That's what I mean. We don't even know what we actually really want. Right, and women Because we've know. been so brainwashed yeah. with catering to the male that's body. That's my point, exactly. They're so philosophical tonight. Uh, we are. I know. We're solving I guess all having, kinds of world problems. I should have had but whiskey still instead of breath, champagne. So, uh, <laughs> <laughs> um, okay, one more story on this topic, closer to home. Because, you know, people think in South America they're so wild and open-minded, but here in New York City, there is a sex-themed uh, store, a pop-up, so to speak, store, run by Pornhub. 
Oh, yeah, I just read about this. It's open yeah. until the 20th of December. And they're, they're protesting and they're all upset. They're protesting? Why? What is it? Yeah. Talk to yeah. me. I want to go. Was, what was the we should, we should organize. If they're protesting, oh, yeah. I want to go. Gloria Steinman. Gloria Steinman showed up, showed up outside with a group of women. Who? Gloria Steinman. Okay. And she was protesting, saying Pornhub and pornography is violence towards women and that kind of stuff. And I'm like, God it's damn sex. it. Isn't that supposed okay. to be all about, mm -hmm. about women's control of their own situation? Uh, it's turning into that. Here? And yes, sex toys are about you know, female pleasure, too. Um, right. But so what is no, no, no. Place? She was, she was oh, saying that porn uh, itself, it because it's sponsored by Pornhub, which porn is a porn okay. site. Right. And she was saying that porn in general, I guess is her argument, well, is violence porn. towards women. Not which, all porn. No. I think Gloria Steinman's position is porn okay. is violence against women. All right. Now, maybe she's coming from where I just said that women are so brainwashed that we always just think but in male okay. terms. But I think she takes it to a, an extra level that doesn't need to be there when she says it's violence only. Right. We're going to have to go. Oh. But we want to give everyone a chance to express themselves. Website, contact, Tim something. Moss, T-Y-M-M-O-S-S dot -S com and all media. LolaBassanato dot com and Lola Bassanato absolutely everywhere. Tara, T-R-A-N-Y, -T -R everywhere. Andy <laughs> at Troy at AOL dot com. Our Facebook page, and, uh, The Andy Troy Show. Our YouTube channel, The Andy Troy Show. Andy like us. Follow us. I expect to see you every time I turn around. We'll be back next time. Probably going about sex, but for now, we're done.